This clip should be a fun one because we're going to use your new trigonometry skills to tackle some real world problems. We're going to use your new skills to build some ramps. So I'll show you how you build a ramp over here and then I'll get you to practice building a ramp on this side later. Let's have a look at the practice problem. A skateboard ramp is needed in a new park. The ramp is to be 3 meters long and have a rise of 0.5 meters or half a meter. Calculate the angle of inclination of the ramp. And let's imagine the company that's hired us, well they've been nice enough to provide us with a diagram and it looks like this. There is our new skateboard ramp for the park. Now if you're not familiar with this term, angle of inclination, that just means this angle right here, the angle going upwards. So we're being asked to solve for this angle where the ramp meets the ground. But before we can solve for angle A right here, we need to figure out what side is our opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. And that brings us to step one. The opposite side will be whatever one of these lines does not meet in this corner. Since this line meets there and this line meets there, that just leaves this line right here, BC, which is 0.5 meters. So that'll be our opposite. So I'm just going to drag that over there to label it opposite. The hypotenuse is whatever this red square is pointing to. The top corner there is pointing to the line that's 3 meters. So that'll be the hypotenuse. So I'll label that. And finally, that just leaves the floor of the ramp as the adjacent. And there's step one. <laughs> so ka toa. Do you have it memorized yet? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent. Now our job as ramp designers is to figure out which one of these three tools will work best for us in this situation. Since I'm going to be working with angle A and trying to solve for right here, I need to figure out which trigonometry ratio will use both of these numbers in it. And you'll see why when we write out the equation a bit later. So I think I'm going to choose sine because it's made of opposite over hypotenuse and that'll let me solve for the missing angle. So let's write that out. The first thing I'll write down is sine and then the angle I don't know so I'm going to call that A and it's equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and the hypotenuse is given as 3. Now you can see why I chose sine because the only variable left is this a and that's what I need to solve for. From here it's just a matter of cross multiplication. I'm going to put a 1 under sine a to help me out and then I'll do 3 times sine a is equal to 1 times 0.5. So my next line will be like this 3 times sine a is equal to 1 times 0.5 is just 0.5 so I'll keep that 0 0.5. Now I need to isolate for this sine a. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 since there's a 3 multiplying it. And effectively that just cancelled out the 3, top and bottom. And I'm just left with sine a is equal to 0 0.5 divided by 3. Almost there. Now comes the part that stumps a lot of people. Since I'm trying to solve for an angle, I know I'm going to need to move the sine to the other side. And that means I'm going to need an inverse sine, which looks like this. Sine to the negative 1, and then I keep whatever I had over there right in front of it. And now I can enter this entire line into my scientific calculator. So I'll bring in my scientific calculator, and I'll enter pretty much what I see right there. I'm going to need my inverse sine button. Usually you can find it as a second function right above the sine button. So I need to hit shift first, then sine. Then in brackets, I'm going to enter my fraction there, which is 0.5 divided by 3. And close bracket, and then I hit enter. And I get an answer of, we'll say 9.6 degrees. I'm going to round that. So A or the inclination of this ramp is 9.6 degrees.
degrees. And there we go, we just helped design a new skateboard ramp for the park. 9.6 degrees inclination. Finally, my concluding statement simply says, therefore, the angle of inclination is 9.6 degrees. Okay, why don't you give it a try? How about you build a ramp for a restaurant? Here's your practice problem. A wheelchair ramp is needed at the entrance of a new restaurant. The ramp is to be 6.10 meters long and have a rise of 0.45 meters. Calculate the angle of inclination of the ramp. And they've been nice in giving you a diagram that looks like this. So go ahead and try and find the angle of inclination using the steps I showed you before. The wheelchair ramp will have an angle of inclination of 4.2 degrees. We got that by first listing our opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse sides. And then we chose sine to carry out the mathematical steps. And eventually we cross multiplied, removed the 6.10. And then we entered this line into our scientific calculator to get 4.2 degrees.